Hi everybody, welcome. Let's take a moment out of our day, relax and chat. <laughs> so the buzz was all wrong. We were made to understand that Harry and Meghan would be going to Colombia towards the end of the year, but now it transpires that they will transplant the virus on Thursday, meaning tomorrow. Yay! I can't wait! <laughs> I hope you heard the sarcasm in my voice. What are they going to Colombia for? Yes, I know the vice president allegedly invited them, although I heard she was asked, probably or possibly bribed to invite them. You know, a few dollars for her favorite charity or, you know, something like that. Truly, I mean, who cares? What I care about is what is really going on. The word is they're going to spread the word about online bullying. No, I doubt it. Meghan and Harry run the biggest online bullying campaign ever created since the internet began. And everyone with half a brain knows it. We know it because Meghan and Harry has openly and publicly thanked a few of the worst sugars, hugging them, phoning them up, etc., etc. Some of the sugars even admitted on X to being paid. Yes, I mean, some are so dumb they did not think that we could see their posts if they post among themselves. <laughs> yeah. Truly, some are that dumb. So why are they really going to Colombia? If it's not really about doing the circuit on online bullying, not really about charity, not about Invictus, and the vice president would likely get more clout by inviting someone like Jennifer Lopez or Angelina Jolie. <laughs> I do not know who Colombians actually idolize, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure that 90% of Colombians like or idolize someone other than Meghan Markle or Harry. So why the two of them? Even if the Prime Minister was approached and it wasn't originally her idea, then still, the question remains, why Colombia? Yes, indeed, I hear it's a beautiful country with great people, but it is also a country with huge issues and major problems, and Harry stands a better chance of getting kidnapped there than anywhere else. So let's hope they don't take Meghan Markle by mistake, as I'm afraid no one's going to pay to get her back. <laughs> okay, that was just a joke, okay? I believe they are being given extra security paid for by the Colombian government anyway. So anyway, guys, we still have not reached a conclusion or reasonable answer as to why Harry and Meghan are going to Colombia. As a matter of fact, why are they going anywhere at this point? Their business is in shambles. I mean, staff are quitting. Netflix postponed the screening of their shows. She has trademark issues with ARO, etc., etc. So wouldn't any right-thinking person rather stay home and sort out all of this first before gallivanting overseas? I know I would. That is how I roll. If I know I'll be away from home, I start like a month ahead of time and sort out all my business to the finest detail. I'm getting the feeling there's more in this visit for Harry and Meghan than we know. But what? Money? I guess so. I wonder how much money laundering takes place via all these charities, for instance. Something like 
I send you dirty money, you keep some commission and send me back some clean money. That kind of thing. I know it happens, likely more often than we think. Harry and Meghan's trip to Colombia will generate more headlines internationally than it would in Colombia itself. Of that, I'm relatively sure. Most Colombians have little interest in the British royal family. And like I said before, some may not even know who Meghan and Harry are. As non-working royals who obviously does not bring the clout of the real royals, yet they still want to travel to these countries and still experience or get treated like royalty. But they do it without the advice and the expertise of a royal office to back them up. And therefore it is highly likely that Harry and Meghan will again make a few mistakes, make a few faux pas, which will embarrass them or give us second-hand embarrassment and which cannot be wished away, (laughs) that kind of thing. But I guess we will have to wait and see what they get up to this time. I just wonder how much of the local product Harry will sample and how many cringy outfits Meghan will wear. Anyway, guys, something else. Harry and Meghan are again on their way and will be away from home for four to five days. So what about the children? I guess if the children are around, Doria and a nanny will do the honours. But where are the children really? I find it so strange that paparazzi can photograph Meghan going to the market, Get coming out of a restaurant, walking in a parking lot. Yet not once have we seen a photograph of her driving the kids to school, or for that matter, driving with two child seats in the back. No accidental cell phone picture of Megan and the children having a milkshake or walking the dogs. Nothing. Can you remember the last time we supposedly saw Archie or Lily. What I find even stranger is that we have not heard a single mommy say, oh, Archie goes to school with my kids. He's such a sweet boy. Or, oh, Megan waves at us when she drops her kids off. I mean, our kids basically forces us to interact with people. So where are these phantom kids which people in Montecito don't even get to see. Anyway guys, I have a gardener here today and I think I took the wrong combination of my medication this morning. I'm itchy and jittery yet I'm yawning all the time but can't sleep so I'm rather going to remove myself and see if some physical activity will help me. (laughs) So guys, I will see you tomorrow. So please, take good care of yourselves until then. Bye.